Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Simshine. Today I'm doing a speed build on the empty lot called Bargain Bend in the neighbourhood of Willow Creek. I've tried my hardest to make this build fit in with the other pre-built EA houses in the area of Foundry Cove as best as I could, whilst giving the house its own kind of flair. It's a build using the entire of the contents of the base game only from The Sims 4, so no expansion packs or custom content for this build. I've also tried very hard to make it as cheap as possible and a starter home, as the others in this area tend to be starter homes in Willow Creek and Foundry Cove. Although in the end, after cutting as much out as I could, um, it was worth about 22,000 Simlonian. So it's pretty close, but um, I just couldn't cut out any more to make it any cheaper. So I don't know, maybe somewhere for your Sim to live after they've been promoted in their job a few times, maybe. I don't know. Um, so the Willow Creek neighborhood was one of the original worlds with the base game pack of The Sims 4, along with Oasis Springs. Now, Willow Creek, it tends to be the first world that most players, when playing the game for the first time, will hop into. Um, it's been said that Willow Creek has been inspired by New Orleans in America. Um, so, you know, I can see that in the style, it's very American. I mean, as you can probably tell from my accent, I am not American, <laughs> I am from England. Um, so, you know, it's a different style of houses again. But, you know, I, I like that, the insp inspiration of the different worlds, of different areas, you know. Um, so with that in mind, um, this area itself is called Foundry Cove, uh, it's got five small lots and Bargain Bend, the lot that we are on, is the only empty one in this area. Um, so I do like where Bargain Bend, um, the lot itself, is, is, com is placed compared to some of the other houses in this part of Willow Creek. Having the canal right next to it not only looks pretty, but it's nice for you Sim to enjoy, I don't know, doing some fishing there or, you know, going for a jog along there. I mean, who doesn't like going for a jog along water? She says, not ever been jogging in the last, I don't know how many years. <laughs> Um, so anyway, Bargain Bend, the lot is 30 by 20 in size and is worth 2,000 Simlonians as an empty lot. Um, as the other houses in this area of Willow Creek mainly take up the um, New Orleans style and South style of the shotgun houses, um, this house obviously had to be a bungalow to fit in with the rest, relatively compact and have the key features of a shotgun style house such as the wooden frame structuring front veranda with the picket fencing and the rectangular shape. Now, I kind of wished I'd researched more into shotgun houses before I'd done this build rather than um, afterwards. That was a really silly thing to do. Because <laughs> um, I think ultimately, if I had done, um, the shape of the house would have been more rectangular. And you know, if you have a look at shotgun style houses, uh, look into them, or maybe, I don't know, you, you, you've been in a shotgun house, maybe you live in one, that would be amazing. Um, it's certainly not a style that we tend to have here in the United Kingdom. Um, but the idea is they're a rectangle and each room sort of leads to the next, you know, so uh, these curtains at this point were absolutely doing my head in. I think it just shows you how few curtains there are in the base game, uh, how they don't work to most windows. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't usually put curtains in houses, I mean I have curtains in my uh, own house, but in uh, The Sims they drive me mad and as you can see here it was driving me bonkers and I took far too long trying to put curtains in the bedroom. <laughs>
So this is my finished build of Bargain Bend in Willow Creek. This is the front of the house and from a different angle, the living room, the kitchen, bedroom, study, bathroom, and the rear garden. And that's the complete house. Thanks for watching. Bye.